I'm Claire Mies Montero. And I'm Tony Martinez. And you're watching Boston Latino TV. From the BMC 2010. The third annual Boston Music Conference was a two-day conference that held various educational forums, including panels, workshops, and mentorship opportunities. The BMC is the biggest music industry event of its kind in the Northeast and hosts networking mixers, live performances, and much more. Riti, tell us a little bit about the success of this event. Uh, what we can expect, man? This is uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited, bro. Like this is like this has been a great year, you know, like. We, we expected a good turnout, not a turnout like this great, you know what I mean? I'm really excited, all of our all of our panelists came through, you know, everybody had a great time listening to them. Everybody, I think that I can safely say that, you know, someone walked out of here with some great knowledge and that they's gonna make a difference in their careers, and that's, that's what makes it all worth it. We got with the man, Tone Capone, I've heard all about you, Tone, man. I hear a lot of movement, a lot of things happen in the music yes. industry for yes. you in New York. Uh, give us a little bit about information, what you're doing. Well, you know, just to give everybody a little bit of history, um, I started the music industry as a DJ and then eventually got in the business of music through uh, Jive Records and then eventually went to TVT Records with Little John Pitbull, the Yin Yang Twins, and then eventually launched my own record company with Universal Motown and we signed Zion, we signed De La Ghetto, we signed um, Arcangel, Okay. We signed Johnny Rivera, we put out platinum albums, gold albums, all types of albums. Richie Peña is a very close personal friend of mine, and I'm mad at myself because Richie Peña brought me Chino y Nacho a long time ago, before, you know, before they were signed to Universal. He brought them to me, he said, yo, Tone, you need to sign these guys. I didn't sign them, so now I kick myself in the butt, <laughs> and I'm pissed. Richie, I should have signed them when you told me to. Uh, the Chino Nacho story happened here. You know, when we came, we we hooked up with Richie here. He put this together. So you know, mad, mad props to Richie. You know, for believing and for being um, you know a hard worker and producing all this talent that's competitive. You know, to be in the next level. And this is you know, Chino Nacho was a per perfect example. And now you know they're they're doing their thing. All right, all right. Hey, you know, here at the BMC 2010, can you share uh, can you share with us a little bit about your experience and uh, here giving some knowledge to the guys. It felt good, man. I'm I'm happy, you know. I just wanted to just put myself back into a new artist perspective, as opposed to an executive coming here trying to drop knowledge and, and be above the crowd. Cause it it looked like some people wanted answers, and that's that's what I was feeling. I want to give them answers. Cool, cool, man. And definitely, I, I know you uh, dropped the quote. If you can take the truth. You can make it in the music industry. Can you tell us a little bit behind the quote and uh, what do you mean well, by that? It basically is, if you can handle the truth, you can handle the game. Because, like I said, some people are in the wrong positions, man. Like some producers should stay producers. Good artists should be artists. It's when people start playing musical chairs, the game gets messed up. Because some people are doing things to be seen as opposed to be heard. So as long as you stick into what you're good at, then everybody's in their right perspective lane. And nine times out of ten, you're going to get there faster. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Here we are with OTO, an entrepreneur from Boston, a little local talent right here. I got involved with the BMC through uh, Jody and uh, Richie Pena and uh, my man uh, Dante Luna, who's actually a videographer for the BMC. Right, right. And um, I'm just here promoting the, uh, the uh, clothing line, scopeurbanapparel.com. Uh, uh, Check it out. Scope Clothing and uh, the record label, uh, PSP The Best. And um, just over here, just networking with everybody. These are the fellas from Tengo Hambre. They came down here to get involved with the BMC. So tell us a little bit about the BMC getting involved, what you guys were able to learn, how was it involved? You know? This was great. The panel of um, people that are involved with the music, like Michael Bivens, Raheem, just to mention a couple of people, it was very informative. For the people that didn't know anything about music, I felt like you really got your money's worth today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's my second time coming around. I loved it. I brought some people with me, and it's all about networking. They said it on stage. Network, network equals net, net, net worth. worth. That's true. You know. That's right. And I hear this guy right here, Pinchito, actually won the competition. So tell us a little bit about that. I am Pimchito Dominican Ross. I won the 2010 BMC reggaeton competition, and I'm here to do my thing tonight. So we had a little drop in by JB. Yeah, JB, how you doing? Hey, man? what's going on? Just living good here at the BMC, chilling, representing the whole Tengo Hambre movement, my own movement. <laughs> Tattoos and love notes coming soon. That's my mixtape. That's right. right. One more time, it's bumping real heavy in the clubs everywhere. Uh, I love my fans. I love you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, our time here at the BMC has ended. 
Hope you enjoyed the coverage on BMC. But you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. And don't forget www.bostonlatinotv.com.